Kuna jeu weekend na the previous weekend watu walikuwa naangalia Manu venye ni comeback. Of course, of course uh, Kimanzi one of the best coaches locally. Mm -hmm. uh, of course uh, akikuja vile amekuja unapigwa. Hii this is FKF Premier League. Uh -huh. Of course lazima ujipange. Lakini sasa niliona Kimanzi mm -hmm. game ya kwanza hako amejua note zake ziko vipi. Uh -huh. Lakini game ya pili waonaje? Uh -huh. Ali come back. Ali come back. Piga, uh, three points hivyo. Uh -huh. Lakini tusiende mbali. Tuangalie tu hiyo table inakaja kwa sababu kuna wengi ambao wanaangalia ni second round ndo najua Game changa, ligi changa, watu kwa zile za E ni haje, Brian mwezi tuambia mambo ya ligi leo, hata goro wajawe anza ligi, madhari wajawe anza ligi, njimu na tupatia je tebu, eee, eh, tunataka kuonesha penye goro wako saa. <laughs> Ebu tuteki ya tebu ila kaje, kwa sababu kuna mengi sana mbo yafajika, eh? Kali sana, unacheki that table there, of course, uh, KCB, AFC Leopards all making, you know, setting the pace, mm -hmm. uh, KCB making it uh, six out of six. AFC Leopards, the same thing, but of course, E-League, it's a marathon. You mm have -hmm. a match in of course, fans come out good, what I say, hey, uh, you shouldn't be showing us this table now. We are Gomaya, we are the champions. Tumezi piga, eh, my titles mumfulizo, but of course, season ndio imeanza. Na ukisema season kuanza, no. Toskin, mimi naangalia aspects zote na umetutajia tu KCB wako pale kileleni. No. Na unajua for the very first time in 20 years, mashabiki wa AFC Leopards wako excited. <laughs> unajua? Ukiangalia hiyo table, wako wanashikilia same points na KCB, ni goal difference tu kidogo imewasumbua ime pale. Sikiza, sikiza <laughs> FC Leopards you don't have to be that excited. <laughs> Remember the last time you won this league was way back in 1998. Of course, watu wamezaliwa, watu wameoa watu wamekuwa hata wame retire wamecheza bola wame retire so don't be that excited about of course that is a good move a good uh, s a setting of the pace uh -huh. six points si mchezo bana yeah no joke kiangalia six points mimi naangalia hivi uh -huh. fc wamekuwa na ni ile team ambayo ilikuwa imejulikana iko na rangles hapa kule tuko na game ya kwanza wamecheza na thomas trucha the second game kidogo kidogo unasikia thomas trucha yuko eh tuangalie part kwanza toskid wewe, ukweli venye unajua ball, you've no. been an editor for this so many years. Yes, eh? yes. Ushe isikia maali, Tim Sena enda kwa club, amepatiwa contract ya Shasain, anachiza game moja, alafu anasemani aje ni meondoke yeo team. No, there's a problem hapo. Lazima FC wa come clean, chairman pale Dan Shikanda, mm -hmm. uh, ni legend wa, go, wa, wa both Guamaya and FC. Mm -hmm. But of course, ame ingia pale FC, mm -hmm. and he's doing quite a good job. And mm -hmm. everyone was saying, look, uh, what he's doing, it's really good for the club. Mm -hmm. I'm club, I'm a squad. I, as you can see, mm -hmm. that cohesion is coming. Mm -hmm. But like in the history of coaches, mm -hmm. there's more to it uh, than meets the eye. And the Gorp, you all go to the Confederation Cup, where is the Chesana? The Brazilian keeper. Of course, uh, uh, of course, that is a, that's a regulation by uh, CAF. Mm -hmm. CAF for Mesema, Lazima Ukwena, certain minimum requirements. Of mm -hmm. course, uh, uh, coach uh, Wagurmaya is very experienced. Mm -hmm. He's been coaching for the last 25 years. Mm -hmm. But of course, uh, just like uh, Ukienda Kusome Uganda, mm -hmm. eh, Ukikuja na certificate zako za Makerere, Ama Ukuja na zile za A-level pale. Uh -huh. Lazima pia ukifika Kenya, una tafta job, wanaangalia A-level yako vipi, ulipafum vipi. Uh -huh. Ukikompea pia na 844 system yetu hapa. Mm -hmm. So kwa hivyo, uh, coaches uh, Wagor, lazima uh, ilikuwa lazima wangalia hizo vitu. But FC, FC hawana sababu bana. Mm -hmm. Mmeleta coaches amekuja amewapigia game, mmefunga mm. taska. Imagine. Ah, team ambayo ni bogi team yenu mwafunga mbili mmoja. Unapiga Lion matano mmoja. Kwanza kwanza ingekuwa hata mabao sita <laughs> mimi nilikuwa nahesabu. Yeah. Uh, it could have been anything like 7-1 uh, or 7-2 mm. uh, mm. hivyo. Mm. Lakini sasa those shenanigans, I think, is not really good for mm. FC Leopards guys. They have to sort it out. Mm -hmm. The chairman of FC Leopards should uh, come clean and mm -hmm. tell his uh, supporters 
uh, the supporters of the club mm -hmm. that uh, this is the direction. Okay, there was this issue. Maybe mm -hmm. behind the scenes. Is the stories are kutuambi ati oh kulikuwa na threats kwa coaches suji nini ah pana bana. It can't wash. Lakini this is the show because we'll get you behind the scenes stories, everything and all the club is doing to make sure that yeah. they are going to win this league for the first time since 1988. It's going to be very difficult for them because mm -hmm. Gormaya, wameji panga, mm -hmm. sofapaka naona pale, wameji panga. Mm -hmm. Of course, KCB, mm -hmm. wako pale pale. Madaria tu diona kicheza, tuju Ma gemeo ina kaji, ona kamanini. Of course, wana cheza, nafikiri wana cheza Wednesday. Wana cheza Wednesday na zoo, wana anza na zoo. Ona Lakini, mm -hmm. uh, bado tuko ile tebo mba tulicheki. Yes. Uh, Viga United, new boys in the league, walikuwa mm -hmm. relegated, omeruditena kwenye league. Uh, do you think uh, wana, wana fanya nini? Kwa sababu, <laughs> kuna expectations. Bidco <laughs> wali sign. Mm. Tunuangalia, ukiangalia team ya Bidco, mm. na wangalia Vihiga United. Hizi ni team mbili ambazo zilikuwa, zilikuwa promoted to the league. Mm -hmm. But ukiangalia, kuna disparity between the two teams. W wajua, the difference ni nini? Mm -hmm. uh, Bidco wali qualify as second place team uh -huh. kwa na uh, Betika inaitua nini? Super, Super League. Super League. Super league. Uh -huh. So, they had all the time to sign the players but uh, for Viga United they had to go into a playoff mm. uh, that was uh, against Kisumu, Kisumu All Stars, All -Stars yeah. and by the time they were they were sure now they are qualifying mm -hmm. the transfer window was uh, almost uh, kaput and uh, it became very difficult for them I think they are the only team that has not signed players mm. and they can't wait for their half uh, season mm -hmm. uh, maybe January if uh, the FIFA window will open mm -hmm. and uh, FKF uh, sees to that, that they need to open the window for them mm -hmm. then they can sign the players but before them what mm -hmm. kichapo my friend kichapo. Kichapo. sitting kichapo. bottom of the table kama unavyoona hapo mm -hmm. zero points so kuna mingi sana ambayo tunafaa tuongelee kwa hiyo game lakini uh, tukiangalia tu baadhi ya zile results ambazo zilipatikana hii wiki kwa sababu kuna game kubwa ambayo iliguswa uh, mm -hmm. tunaongelea team ya ZDK Ziko Otiengo uh, mm -hmm. uh, that is KCB walikuwa wanacheza na Ibidco uh, you've just spoke about <laughs> Bidco the way they uh, wali strengthen killer department mm -hmm. ilikuwa kwa sababu walikuwa na time but coming in, wanapatana na KCB. KCB, ukiangalela last season, pia ndo walikuwa meingia kwenye uh, league. Yes. Walikuwa na kwa uh, promoted in the league. Na wal, ukiangalela games zao nyingi, walikuwa nchiza 1-0, draw. Mm -hmm. Yani walikuwa hapo, wal, it was a mid-table team. But this time, uh, ZDK Otieno inakani kama amekuja na intention moja. U ule Mishin. jamaa yuko sawa. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got maximum respect for the Rekaya Otieno. Mm -hmm. His coach is Coach Gormaya. Played for Gormaya. Played for uh, the national team, mm -hmm. Rambe Stars. He has coached Rambe Stars. Mm -hmm. So he's got the tactical news. Hile tunasema katika mm -hmm. uh, zile lugha zetu za kuandika. Uh -huh. He's got the tactical news. And of course, uh, you've seen the way I may strengthen KCB. Mm -hmm. The only problem you want na KCB, mm -hmm. The Mao ones are Vizuri Sana, because mm. when a preseason, mm. I'm Zuri, mm. but of course, uh, you cannot say that much mm -hmm. about preseason because of yeah, the story COVID, there, yeah. mm. the COVID. Mm. But when I think Mahali Wananza Kuyumba Yumba, but for Bidco, <laughs> Lazima wajue hii ni Premier League. Hii ni Premier EC, League. Hii si National Super League pale walikuwa. Eh. Mm. Wacha tucheki hiyo game ya KCB City Stars. Kwa sababu kuna wengi ambao labda ulikosa kuona hiyo game. Ilikuwa live actually on BTV. Nimekombia kwamba game zote za uh, FKF Premier League. At least three matches in a week utakuna zipata live hap and down ya BTV. This is the home of the Premier League. Ama ukipenda FKF Premier League. And this is the FKF Premier League preview show. Ama review show with yours truly. Hashtag double T ya mokipenda Tsuma and Toskin ama Toskin and Tsuma inakwatu saa. <laughs> Yote inakubalika. Kabu nchecki yo game ilikuwa aje. Enye osi na tayari ngoma inaanza hapa. Upande wakulia wakiwa chako ni KCB na upande wakushoto ni City Stars. Tunasema gomba wacha uh, soka itambe. Kaka Jos, JOS, Jacko Yosilvesta, Jafeth Kaindi, Mombasa wanamuita Makanaki. Tuna kuletia matangazo haya kenye kenye kutoka katika uwanja huu wa kasarani. Lakini tunaposema kwamba uwanja wa kasarani sio ule uwanja mkubwa wa kasarani. The home of heroes hapana. Tupo nje kidogo kwa sababu hapa kasarani kuna viwanja kadha wa kadha. Tunatarajia nini katika mchuano huu? Uh, kama tulivyosema Jack uh, kuanzia mwanzo na kwamba tunatarajia mchezo mzuri sana wa timu zote mbili. Hizi ni timu ambazo zina washambulizi zina timu ambazo zote zina walinzi wazuri na vile vile katika viungo nadhani ya kwamba atakayeweza kutumia pia masile nafasi atakazopata Jack katika mchuano huu natarajia ya kwamba atakuwa na uwezo kusoa zile alama tatu muhimu katika mechi hiyo hasa baada ya timu zote mbili kuandikisha matokeo mazuri katika kwenye mechi zao za kwanza alikuwa ameanza kwa kasi pale Kimani sasa anakuja na ile Oliver Meloba 
wanaingia vijana wa City Stars hapa kumbuka kwamba katika mchuano wao wa kwanza walishinda mchuano sasa hii ni awamu ya pili ya ligi timu zote mbili hizi KCB pamoja na timu City Stars anacheza mchuano wake wa pili lakini bado tuna baadhi ya zile timu ambazo bado hazijacheza mchuano wowote kahindi Dele tena nageuka Eh haya ana kuja tena uga namna gani mashaa Haya Gonga gonga zile ni kiasi tu katika safu ile ushambulizi KCB nadhani kwamba hilo litaweza kutumika katika litaweza kutimia katika kipindi hiki cha pili na kuweza kuona japo mabomu mengi zaidi Amoyunzo alikuwa na nafasi nafasi kama hizi huwa Naam ni game kama hiyo na unajua City Stars walikuwa recently promoted in the FKF Premier League so they have a lot to prove in that side lakini ukiangalia Coach wao baada ya game alikuwa na some few remarks za kusema kuhusu na hiyo game lakini tutakuwa naangalia hizo remarks baadaye lakini uh, Toskin ukiangalia Bitco uh, tunaongelea nani tunaongelea City Stars City Stars walikuwa na hiyo run wameingia kwenye Premier League tumeongelea tu venye uh, teams zimekuwa zit build up Ume, no. tumeongelea Bitco kugusia gusia tu City Stars wako prepared kweli juu <laughs> Ili jina kakuwa noma kwao eh? <laughs> no, no, na, nafikiri ya um, uh, preparation eh? mm -hmm. wajua unaweza uka prepare na una do. Aha. Nafikiri ya uh, for the first time hii Nairobi City Stars mm -hmm. iko na management mzuri. Mm -hmm. uh, kwanza pale rafiki yangu Patrick Korea ambaye sasa ni CEO pale mm -hmm. ni jamaa anajua ball. Mm -hmm. Na in fact uh, some of us are really happy that uh, people who understand the game mm -hmm. are now coming into mm -hmm. it. Mm -hmm. uh, before <laughs> nikwambia nini suma? <laughs> before 2006 hapo uh -huh. wakati uh, league ilikuwa ina struggle uh -huh. ungepata tu just anybody uh -huh. anakuja kwa game uh -huh. anataka kuwa manager and uh, wants to be what but now things are changing uh -huh. the kind of organization umeangalia pale city stars uh -huh. they won they won the the, the, the promotion eh? uh -huh. uh, hands down yeah. they did top the table wamekuja pale uh -huh. they've done their signings ukiangalia okay, signings signings zao uh -huh. uh, they, they're quite impressive uh -huh. Na ukiangalia hata mechi yako yao ya kwanza ya pili they organized mm. of course uh, against KCB yeah, it was always difficult for them yeah looking at the first half ukiangalia chenye wali do wali dominate your game they dominated they are playing, playing very good football yeah. they are playing very good football but then experience sometimes counts uh -huh. and then that ile uh, stage fight mumeru rudi umekutana na KCB you are playing against Zico mm -hmm. uh, one of the top coaches hapa mm -hmm. sometimes unafikia tu mahali something is happening yeah. see on check ile bao wamefungwa mm. si jamaa amepiga ilikuwa kali kwa shot yeah, yeah. imepigwa shot mm. real reaction ya defense ya city stars kidogo ilikuwa down mm. kisha huyu jamaa ameipata tena mm -hmm. ameiweka uh -huh. uh -huh. na bao ndio unaiona kwenye runinga yako sasa hivi na ukiangalia alivyosema Toskin ni kwamba KCB hii walionesha stones unaonesha experience experience inaonesha kwamba if you are a team ndio mnakuwa pressed mnaona idealism mnakuwa pressed aje mko na stones gani za kurejea kwenye game na kushinda hiyo game because this is what Zedekia Ziko should kwa hii game alionesha hiyo experience kwamba ni aje tunaweza enda for this city city mdogo wameingia kwenye premier league unajua kitu moja watu uelewa ama watu uko kuelewa ni kwamba yeah. timu yote ambayo inacheza kwenye premier league is a big team ni timu ambayo exactly. imeingia pale by their own rights wako na walicheza game poa kwenye uh, super league no. na wako kwa promoted meaning it's a team ambayo inaweza cause some trouble so I'm so sure City Stars wacha tufanye hivi yeah. tusikie au makocha walikuwa wanasema nini ndio tupate hii hii ni nini vizuri eh tusikie au makocha wasemaje game and in 43 minutes we get goal and it's little disturbance but the second half we were more determined that we attack and I put even two strikers and some young guys in front they bring us energy we create some good chances in the second half and I believe we deserve minimum draw today in the game but again congratulations for KCB they are a good team they are experienced team so we will watch for our next matches and hopefully if we continue to play like this we will win a lot of points the substitution you did with your captain uh, Anthony Kimani Muki was it tactical injury or but he jumped over some preparation period he was injured so especially in the beginning of preparation around 15 days and this you still feel in him and that's the reason 
in high intensity game like this one, he can play maybe 70 minutes, not more. So that was the reason it, it was tactical change that we bring the fresh guys inside. And uh, young uh, Timothy Uma, he's 16 years, he played very well game and he showed that he's really big potential and future not only for Nairobi City Stars but also for Kenya national team because I guarantee to you that guy will play in high level leagues. Uh, all the best coach in your next match. Thank you, thank you very much. Pongezi kwa ushindi alama sita lakini leo niliona mnivyoruka lile bao la Onyango ulijua ulijua itakuwa mechi ngumu mechi ya bao moja tu coach. Mechi ile itakuwa ngumu but uh, all in all tunafurahia wachezaji wamejituma. Ukiangalia nilikwambia mwanzoni tumekuwa na uh, time ndogo sana ya ku prepare kwa hii game ya kujiandaa. Tulicheza Jumapili leo uh, uh, ijuma. So wachezaji kwa saa hizi na kulingana na vile tumekaa nje bila kucheza mpira kwa muda mrefu tuna need more time za ku za ku recover ndio tuweze kucheza game nyingine but sisi ni professionals na tu complain so tutaleta tu kazini mm. tutengawaje saa zingine na kuwa ngumu kama leo coach mechi mbili alama sita, mabao manne huu mwaka ni mapema mno lakini tayari unaotoa ujumbe hapana sisi tunajaribu tuko na target yetu msimu kisha na tunajaribu sana tuweze kushinda kila mechi ile tunacheza so kwa saizi ya tuangalie namba ama nini but sisi kitu tunaangalia sana ni tupate point tatu kwa hiyo mechi yetu okay. na mwisho labda unazungumziaje vijana wako haswa haswa nimemuona Simon na vile vile Baraka vijana wale wamefanya kazi kubwa sana mabeki wako coach Wa, wanafanya tu kazi yao yeah. <laughs> KCB ah, okay. imewa an, ajiri kuweza kufanya hiyo kazi ya kucheza mpira. Damu. Kwa hivyo wamechifanya tu kazi yao na wamefanya vizuri. Aha. Ojo napenda hiyo 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 ni ya Z. Zedekia <laughs> lazima maze hii ni job yao. Ni kama Toskid. Hapa yeah. sasa hii tukiwa nae. Naam. Tume tume kuja hapa kubonga, kubonga mm. FKF Premier League. Hakuna vinyo tunaweza kujaonea alafu tukose kubonga. Ama msia kuja kwa mbele ni aje. Buda, hiyo show ilikuwaaje. Tu ndio ndio tunalipokufanya, tunalipokugonga. Hao wanalipokucheza kumaanisha wanafawacheze. Ah, kauli moja ambayo nimepata pale. Yeah. There's this young player uh, anachezea City Stars. Coach amepata kugusia mm-hmm. baada ya Pitson Mutamba kupata injury. Mm-hmm. Alileta a young player 16 year old Timothy Uma na ukiangalia alivyocheza hata coach mwenyewe alikuwa anasema kwamba hii ni prospect kwamba mm-hmm. atachezea national team na si national team tu huni kijana kuna future. Do you think that it's now time that FKF Premier League say tuna grow tuna mature to that level that tutakuwa na upcoming talent tutakuwa na young players wakipata nafasi in the premier league by the way that's one of the things tumekuwa tukiongea sana mm-hmm. kuwa coaches wetu wa premier league mm-hmm. ni jamaa waoga sana yeah. waoga ukiangalia most of them wanataka kwenda ku recycle players mm-hmm. wajua kwa sababu mm-hmm. anataka kubaki league mm-hmm. kwanza anataka job yake mm-hmm. ikuwe safe but if we can see coaches bringing in young uh, mm. talent like now Timothy mm. coming in through there and then a game mm-hmm. eh? mm. first 11 mm. that's the best the, the other day mm. I, I was checking uh, with the Bayern Munich mm. wameleta boy mm. 17 year mm. old Jamal Musiala yes. na ameanza kufunga mm. wajua mm. aya kama coaches hawatakuwa na ile courage ya kuleta new players mm basi hii Kenya yetu atakuwa mm. na players mm. lakini sasa pale ziko niko mcheke mm. anasema nini ni kazi yake tu ni kazi yake hataki kuweka mm. boy pressure mingi mm. namna gani mm. of course anajua ni prospect eh? mm. lakini sasa ni muhimu sana tulete new new blood mm. eh, i will be really cross to see teams you know recycling players mm. yeah na hiyo ni aspect poa sana kwa sababu tumekuwa tukililia sana uh, i do a sport show zinga la sport hapa ndani ya BTV na no. kila time unapata tunazungumzia Toskin pia pale kwenye KTN News yeah. ako na sports show pale na ukiangalia every time every sports journalist unapata vitu nyingi tunaangazia ni kwamba upcoming talent tunaangalia kwamba we need development of stars exactly. wanyama ndio huyu ako anacheza America sasa hii meaning ana anaenda retirement yes do we really have our nyama replacement in the youth uh, setup Maze, ni ngumu <laughs> ni ngumu kusema hivi lakini sasa this season uh-huh. this season sasa itatufungulia wazi mm. tujue nani anakuja ku replace mtu kama Victor Wanyama mm-hmm. of course saizi olunga bado tunasherekea kuwa ni top striker mm-hmm. but it's just a matter of time mm-hmm. now we, we need that conveyor belt mm-hmm. and these are the teams and uh, I, i want really to to depend on teams like Nairobi City Stars mm-hmm. who just come in the other day mm-hmm. ukiangalia the chairman mm-hmm. eh? mm-hmm. chairman anaitwa nani Jonathan Jackson Nam. 
this is a serious investor in this mm. town ukiangalia mm. kwa property mm. you know industry hu jamaa madhe hu jamaa ni jamaa ako sawa ganji 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 ko sawa ukiangalia ameleta coach pale allergic and from nani allergic siji kama mimi majina nakwambia zuri kimbiza mbio tunai pronounce hivyo kuwa ako na allergy ya mali lakini coaches wajua ameleta mtu tofauti pale Patrick uh, ambaye ni CEO sasa wa Nairobi City Stars mm. I want to believe that is a team that can change Kenyan football mm -hmm. let them then now bring in new players mm -hmm. to blood in all the, uh, now old players ambao tuko nao sasa hizi mm -hmm. so that Nairobi City Stars pia to pay another Victor Wanyama kumbuka Victor mm. I'll make it to Europe mm through Nairobi City Stars mm. wakati pale wakutana wale jamaa wa GMJ Academy yes. then ivo ivo mm. kijana akaenda kule Ubelgiji mm. so hizi ni big star mm. so the owners is on them now mm. lazima sasa pia tupate nani mm. eh, wanyama mwingine wanyama mwingine eh, ndio hivyo ndio kauli kama hiyo so wewe popote unatazama sijui unatazama kutoka maeneo gani kwa sababu this is the first show indo premier anakuambia the biggest fkf show review show inajulikana kama fkf preview show na with tsuma and Toskin na mkupenda no. Toskin and Tsuma na kukutajia tu results zingine uh, tuangalie Bidco uh, ili achana na Bidco Tasca na Bandari nil nil hii ilikuwa game kubwa sana oh. uh, <laughs> ukiangalia Tasca kidogo Tasca na ni team ambayo ameambiwa ndio mko naongea na coaches uh, coaches Robert Patano uh -huh. Ule jamaa is a very focused coach. Mm -hmm. He knows what he wants. Mm -hmm. Mutam mutasema sijui anacheza bola ina gani. Mm -hmm. But ule jamaa who believe in fitness na siku moja alinisho nini mm -hmm. that you cannot adapt to his uh, tactical uh, uh, game plan mm -hmm. if you are not physically fit. Na ukiangalia ni ukweli mm -hmm. eh, of course wewe sasa hizi kama unajua you are one of the most unfitest guys around. Unachoma Robin, unachoma. So sasa hizi tukakwambia ucheze katika ile format pengine 442 pengine tukuweke sasa kama wewe ni uh, defensive midfielder ama attacking uh -huh. if you are not fit mm -hmm. you cannot get into that so tasca mm -hmm. coaches robert matana aliniambia nini because of the covid protocols mm -hmm. akuna vile tasca wangeanza ku train mm -hmm. kwa sababu pale EABL mm -hmm. uh, it's a very big corporate unaangalia yes. so wangeanza kufanya vile so i want to believe tasca bado they get into top gear mm -hmm. the moment they get into top gear watasumbuana watasumbuana ni among those teams ambazo zilikuwa zinasemekana kwamba hii season they are the teams to watch out for Tasca so FC Leopards uh, Karibangi Sharks pale kidogo eh yeah. na tukiangalia upande mwingine Nzoia pia alikuwa na game mm -hmm. na game yao ikaishia sare uh, ngapi nil 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 uh, Nzoia ni team ambayo last season walikuwa na financial difficulties chungu no. nzima mm -hmm. this season wamekuja wako strong na walikuwa mm. na timu ya presda mm. na wakajiprove niliona walipewa basi yeah. eh, wali donatiwa basi yes. so na, na, i want to believe kuwa sasa management ya nzoia sugar although <laughs> all those sugar bell teams eh, zimekuwa yeah. na shida yes. tuliona sony sugar walitoka chemondo uh, chemo aliteremka lakini nimesikia chemo mm. wanarudi sasa kwa uh, lower division Lord, uh -huh. wanze kujaribu kupanda so tenu. for nzoia mm management lazima wajikaze because mm -hmm. kuna ile issue ya farmers pia kulipwa yeah. sijui nani yeah. eh? sasa yeah. lazima walipe wachezaji vizuri ili waweze kucheza but credit to them mm -hmm. ile ku hold uh, sharks mm -hmm. to nil nil mm -hmm. that was a big uh, a big achievement because mm -hmm. sharks uliona vile waliwashtua yeah. wazito game yeah. ya kwanza ile pa pa pa, pa kina, kapaito eh, kapaito pale <laughs> amfanya vitu so yeah. kama waliweza ku, ku keep kapaito silent mm -hmm. ah basi wanaweza waka grow from there. Ndio hiyo. 2243 ndio SMS line yetu kwenye Twitter, Instagram, Facebook kila mahali ni KTN BTV. Na usisahau alama ya reli ama hashtag ni KTN hapana. <laughs> FKFPL review show. It's the first time so ukisikia na chemsha kidogo si kupenda. Mzee, tunachemsha wewe uoge au sio. Tunachukua mapumziko tukirejea mengi zaidi sibanduki.